Uh, can I do this one? I can. You and Martha like each other. Let's see who this is. I couldn't do it last time because I didn't have the right profile. Okay, random fact number four again. I feel like there's only a few of these because I saw this the first time. Johnny's having an online date with Martha. Okay. You don't look like your profile picture at all. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so, right. Hey, you have a cute nose. Oh, it pops up here too. That's cool. Sko yoop. Squeep. Mama? Jim bra? Alright. Hey, you have a cute nose. Thank you. You have a cute. Oh, that's messed up. Hey, wait a minute. There's nothing like your profile picture. Nonsense. Don't be silly. That there profile picture is a drawing, not a photograph. Can't you tell the difference between reality and fiction? Lol, no. That it is a cartoon of me when I was but 19. When I worked as a lingerie model. Ooh, actually that does, does work. It's just right on my shoulder blades. It's nice. I used to model for Geechee and Banana. Did I tell you that already? Nope. They commissioned that picture from some famous French guy. Sorry. <coughs> some famous French guy, but I lost. I got lost in Paris shortly after. So they put that drawing on the milk gardens and in the paper. Oh man, that was a weird couple of days. They made me travel around the world, you know. Uh, you want to know it by the look at me. By looking at me now. <laughs> Sounds like an old truck driver story. Wow, oh, it's amazing. You age like fine wine. <laughs> hey, ooh la la. You're as charming as a freshly baked baguette. This is the worst one so far, in my opinion. <laughs> I believe I have a couple of stories from my modeling days for you. After being in Paris, I was called f I was called for a hamburger modeling photo session. Hold on. Nope, wasn't gonna do a spit take. My throat was messing up. I was with my boyfriend at the time. So I changed into a red bikini and I had to sit on this sticky black couch. Ew. This hunky guy comes in and gives me the oh, burger. Body. What I found creepy is that they were filming the whole thing. And I'm like, wait, wait up, what's going on here? And they started asking for some funky stuff, right? <laughs> Turns out they're filming an independent movie and I was in the wrong room. Yeah, that's the porno. Was it lucky that my it was ever was it ever lucky that my ex was around? He saw the couch and said we had to leave. Can't think what got into him. Ooh, well I have a <laughs> so no okay, not completely honest with you. Yeah, you're right. He's a bit always a bit screwy, always charming when I first met him, but things tend to go downhill. I don't normally talk about him. Old lover stories should stay in the past, but you might learn from Tyler's mistakes, so I'll tell you. He started eating buffalo wings. It was a normal thing. Saturdays only. Start Suddenly things got weird. He started going cr growing crazy for Saturdays. Tyler kept eating lots of buffalo wings. Saturdays, Sundays, and even Mondays. He ate those damn buffalo wings every day. He lost control of his life so that, at that point. What? What happened to him? Did you... <laughs> When was a girl, real man always go for chicken breasts. Don't really get it. Bah. Really don't. I can still hear him chewing in my head. Anyways, I much prefer talking about my passion job. Anyway, I lost my job as a truck driver. Oh, okay. That was gonna happen. So exciting. Wow. One day you're driving to. Fuck. It's amazing how free you can be out there on the road. Mm. You know, <coughs> driving to the West Coast tomorrow would be great to have some company with me. Oh boy, I'm in. <laughs> Excellent, Johnny. I'll pick you up tomorrow at 7 a.m. Jones Diner. Bring it, a towel and some ice and get some real hot in my truck. Okay, go and stuff for some ice and towel. It's time to travel to the West Coast. God damn it. I'm gonna get three stars, yo. Mm, real man, I always go for the chicken breast. Damn, I was gonna pick that one too. You're a hoot. After a strange episode of my life, I choose to bury him and his buffalo scraps. But enough of that. Then kind of figure my story. Wait, did you did you actually kill him though? No, you're a cutie, good listener. <laughs> Keep wondering what else you're good for. Are you good for? <laughs> oh, I can do the meanest waffles in the morning. 
Oh sweet lord, that's so hot. I'll pick you up in five minutes. Damn, what a player. What? Damn, I messed up. Whoa. Pick it up in my truck. Can we better the block here? Oh, okay. Accidentally got three stars like a freaking boss. Whoa, I got some soft us. Uh. Can we do Dorothy? I will do Dorothy. Oh, can we do all of them? I bet we can because it just cycles through. So we'll do all of them. Why not? Oh, it's been an hour already. Jesus. You can use more on your life. Yeah, impress your day when you open your mouth and use normal spoken language. Johnny is in a boulevard cafe. The ambiance is cozy but chilly. Hi, I feel so glad that somebody finally accepted my linger invitation. I'm Dorothy. <laughs> it must be Johnny. I'm quite new to this city. I'm not used to these dating machines or whatever. Holy cow, talking cow. <laughs> wow, I never. How rude, Johnny. I know I'm a little overweight, but there's sensible ways to say that. Thought you were a gentleman. Good day to you, sir. Alright, gotta be a gentleman this time. Uh, oh dear, you don't talk much, do you? That's okay. I like well-reserved men. As I was saying, I'm a bit new to the city so far. People have been staring curiously at me. Oh, but that's to be expected from a more rural, rural kind of girl. <laughs> oh, however, I want that small nooses bring me down. I fully intend to have a lively time here. That's my story, short into a thimble. Hoo hoo hee hee. Hoo hoo hee. Hoo hee hee. So you like come from a far? Uh, okay. My my, you indeed don't talk much, do you? Chef always is speaking about it, otherwise it'd be quite boring day. At any rate, we're staying in that like, like, lovely cafe. We can lose up that tight tongue of yours. Say we order something to eat. We're just take a green salad. Oh god. Much like your cute hat. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I made this hat myself. It's lovely, isn't it? For this trip, I bought me ten of the best ones. You never know when you need a nice hat. Oh, but listen to me, I have a bad hat. Oh, me, oh my, just notice how radiant the sun is. Today's such a splendid day. I just adore the buildings and the big city noise. Back on the barn, everything's so quiet, you can go mad. Feels this does is where I belong from now on. Today just seems like a perfect day. It really helps when I'm around with people who understand me, too. <laughs> I know only you get what you're saying. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, it says... <laughs> uh, I get what you're saying. Oh, do you? It's been ages since I've connected with someone like this. You know? I feel strangely comfortable with you. And I know why you see a little comf uncomfortable with me. Oh, I know you can tell just by looking at me. I was trying to pretend as if everything was normal. But I can't pretend anymore. You can stop as well. Does it, does it bother you that I'm this way? Hey, you're new in town. I want you to be happy. Uh, you're such a considerate man. I am fearful of the reactions I might listen for just being here. Thank you for understanding me. I've always feared people would judge me for being this different. Uh, it's not easy being a nudist, you know. People stare at you as if you were a different species. But I'm proud of my body. So very proud. This lifestyle has made me appreciate modeling and clothing even more. Just a liberating feeling. I'm so, so happy you don't mind me being a nudist. Oh, uh, huh? Huh? <laughs> Let's go, Johnny. I want to be with you all day and later tonight as well under the moonlight. What? Hey, save some day for the rest of us, huh? Uh, what? Burp. Burp. Oh, burp. So you can tell, but kind of by the color how intense it gets the vibrations and it can get pretty up there and it's a match you and Anne like each other do, 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 do. random fact a male penguin falling in love with such an entire beast to find a perfect pebble to rep to present to the female actually that's a true fact Johnny arrives at the pointy gross rock beach it's suddenly very very cold Oh. 
It's a ghost. Hey, dude, over here. What's up? Are you Johnny? My linger date? My name's Ann. I'm so totally spoke stoked to have you here. Zoinks, a, a ghost. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to do either of those. I don't know how cool she is, so I'll do... What a radical board. Love dude with good taste. My board's pretty roughed up, though. What a radiant sun. It's just like... Just like it is... Look at those tubular waves. Makes you want to dip in the ocean and be all kawoosh. You know what I'm saying? Alright, uh, you're looking at me all funny and stuff. Let's get out, this out of the way first. I'm a ghost. No doubt, right? So, like, just don't go freaking out too much, dude. Uh, Hold on. Let's go back real quick. I want to see what she reacts to for this one. Zoink's a good ghost. Look, man, I'm just a uh, pale. Psh, whatever, you gotta bounce, I'll see you. Okay, so, you have to let her admit that she's a ghost, okay. Um, run, dude, run. A chill runs down your spine. Never judge anyone based on the looks anyways, I say. Awesome, you're staying. Gotta love how totally cool-headed you are. <coughs> Welcome to the pointy ghost rock beach, dude. People say it's haunted. Boo. You, like... I have zero idea how hard it is to possess a phone and get a date. Uh, you can possess stuff? Yeah, yeah, when I first found out, I was like, whoa, you know what I mean? Now it's like, pshaw. Yeah, whatever, man. Sort of lost its luster. Just anyways, I'd rather not talk about my dead woman stuff, catch my drift. Tell me, like, something about you, dude. Uh, how can you touch stuff? No? Come on, man. I want to know about you. Alright. Want to feel my pecs? Damn it. Want to feel my biceps? No? Come on, man. I want to know about you. Can you tell my grandma I don't want to be a doctor? Man. Sorry, you're such a radiant woman. There you go. Oh, I don't say the doofus. It's all good. So, are we going to do something fun today? I'm open to anything you want. Damn it. Whoa. That's not what I said. Aww. I was like, I want to have fun today. It's been so long since I hung out with someone, too. My last day was pretty fly for a blind gal. She's always tripping. <laughs> oh my god, we got along so totally well. She even invited me to a crib, too. Go on. Aww. You're the only friend who knows I'm wrong. Is he gonna get run over? Just leave me all alone, too? <laughs> I'll look for you, sugar plasm. Wow. And then we can like totally be together for hour. How sweet. I'll hold you on that promise. <laughs> Let's go get this show on the road, Johnny. Hey. hey, that was pretty good. I wasn't sure if that one would work out, but it did. Who you got a massage? Ghostbusters reference. Good one. Okay, let's do this one. Boom. It's a match. You and Sarah like each other. In Alexandria, Minnesota, it is legal to have sex with your wife if your breath smells of garlic, onions, or sardines. Bacon is fine, though. The fuck? Johnny is in the wacko lounge. Sarah is right next to him. Ew. What the hell do you want? Uh, match your linger? I really don't want to do that. But you know what? There's something in your face that just makes me want to punch you. Heck, why not? I'll stick around for a while. I'll let you stick around for a while. Man, this place is getting boring as fuck or what? That's because we're not dancing. Ew, you're joking, right? I hate to dance. You even read my- I just have something to drink. You're- Ah, oh, hold on. I know what I'm doing now. Okay. I believe you. I'm sorry. I guess you knew that already. Man, this place is getting bored as fuck or what? Um... I'm about to get you a mojito, it's on me. Haha. <laughs> no doubt, of course it's gonna be on you. What are you waiting for? A cookie? Just go. Johnny, you quietly brought, bought a tasty mojito for Santa. <laughs> Damn, it's so, so good. This place has the best mojitos. Good call, huh? Uh, go call, uh, I forget your name. But don't you dare think that my panties are going off now. You get one chance, so what do you do for fun? What the fuck? Okay. Ooh, what a badass. Are you actually trying to press me? Do you even know any good positions? 
Sultry Saddle. Uh, you're kinky, not bad for a virgin. You know, you're kind of burly. How big are you? How big do you- oh my goodness. How big do you want me to be? I don't really want anything to do with you. Shit. Oh hey, I heard some money over here. Hey, nice to see you again, dude. So what are you gonna do with all the money? Um... Should I go to bank with my rest of my fortune? Did I tell you how I love your earlobes are? I mean, I don't want to sound interested. We just met, but I feel like we belong together. Isn't that so, like, so crazy? Just playing around, but how many mojitos would, could you buy me, huh? Like, with your whole fortune, huh? Ha, ah, what are you, a cop? Oh, come on, man. Don't be smartass. You know, I'm totally kidding, right? Oh, man. Once I was Danish, which actual claiming to be the inventor of Twitter. It was a social internet thing for complaining publicity. Yeah, pretty much. Turned out Twitter was fake. And he was the business of cocaine. What the fuck? He had cocaine transport and truck containers, but only on Mondays. Crazy, huh? In the end, his wife found out about us and killed him with a spoon. I was like, drama. But I never heard from him again. Because he's dead, you idiot. Okay. In the end, I guess he achieved something in his life. Didn't he? No. How do you, dude? Did you? What about your greatest victory? I met an app called Linger, heard of it? Oh, well, the liar gets addicted. Hey, guys, take care of the. Shut your face. You're, you're gonna be the harder one. Uh, to lose my virginity, huh? I believe you. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get my ego. Uh, okay. Yep, I'm in okay. The bad avocado, but they're kind of burly. Um, depends on the temperature. Jeez. Are you fucking kidding me? I have some money over here. Nice you again. What you want to do with my money? Put it in the bank with the rest of my fortune. Oh, what are you, a cop? <laughs> Back off, bro. I'm employee the month every month. Whoa, what for real? It's impressive, dude. Sounds like your box is secret. I want to open that box in more ways than one. How could you be so accomplished? I mean, wow. Employee of the month every month? Which is the best in more days than one? Oh, please tell me more. What else can you do? That's not going to happen. I baked all the cookies from Phoenix Rage. Um, let's do that one. I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds interesting. So, uh, do you do sports or something? Um, sure. I'm a dancer. Oh, I want to see that. If you're a world champ, I bet you want some juicy prize prizes. Can't believe I met such an accomplished person in this stupid bar. You know what, dude? Sweep me on my feet. Let's do whatever you want tonight. Next morning, Johnny will take Sarah to the local arcade's dance floor stage. What the fuck, dude? Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. How about that one with this chick? Yep. Cool. And 5 percent of phone users text things they could never say in person. Other 5% are so socio psychopaths. Okay. Because <clears throat> they say stuff they taste. Okay. Da da da. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's his body pillow. Oh my god. Sometimes I feel like you're the only one that understands me. And that's why I made you this linger profile, just for you. I know, I'm your only date so far. Sure, I want that too, Papu Ai. Let's start this as a real date. Um, <clears throat> um. You know. <laughs> Are you a pillow? So I just want to put my face all over you. Oh, don't be so sensitive. I'm so sorry. What? She can leave? She's a pillow, though. 
for sale. Like, how awesome is that? Ah, totally. Ah, oh, but you're so funny. Ah. Oh. oh, we gotta do CrossFit too. Sure, I'll get a beer for you. Johnny went to the fridge for two beers. He only found a glass of fresh milk and a jar of mayo. Oh, geez. Okay, don't take it. Next time I'll buy wine and caviar then. Why do we do this to each other? You know how I feel about you, right? I love you. Thanks, I needed to hear that. Love you too, girl. After all, I only ever wanted to have a family with you. Oh, I didn't know you wanted to pursue your career first. Of course, I do want you to have a diploma. <sighs> you, you wouldn't leave me for another guy, would you? Oh, no, of course not. If I fully trust you, it's just that, you know, about children. It, it's okay, I don't want to have a kid. No, I don't have kids anyways. And it's brown, am I right? Just practice baby making then. Real people are overrated. That's the achievement. Ooh. Ooh. I'm supposed to use the sticks on the controller. Oh, because it... If it if you just leave it there, it just sits there. Cause it's a pillow. 